Good morning again. Yeah, so today's uh, job, yeah, the bike has been uh, moved here. Uh, Himalayan has to be relocated. Well, kind of. It was just moved on the side. Reason being, all the tools are here, uh, everything. So coming back and forth, it's going to be easy. Front wheel needs to be removed. Need to check what is going on inside. Because if I try and rotate it, you can see it's uh, just not working. Lifted the bike with a jack on the uh, chasers mount. When the load was on the bike, uh, on the front wheel, it was moving uh, slightly restrained, but it was moving, so I was able to park it. Anyways, uh, let's move on. So the plan is, uh, no, that's not the oil leaking. I poured in some WD-40, should have cleaned that, but yeah, uh, just to make sure that the bolts inside and all these can, you know, uh, get open without much of a trouble. It's not the perfect tool, uh, this uh, WD-40, but it does help somewhat. And as you can see, uh, this is just stuck, not working. It's just stuck here. So, as I said, the plan of action would be first to open this, loosen it up, then get the wire out, then open these, or at least loosen them, then uh, remove the front wheel, get the hub out, I'll show how it is done. Uh, same on that side. So let's proceed. Okay, so let's begin. 10 mm for this. 12 mm for the bottom worm. Yeah, thanks to WD-40, it's moving all right. Should be able to free the cable. Change of angle. Just gonna push it out. Yeah, that's off. This will be completely removed now. Yeah, so this has to be wound out completely. Because I need to check the condition of the wire, whether it can be taken care of. You get the point? Let me completely uh, get it out. At this point, just hook it up. And again, WD-40 doing its magic. Once it is almost out, there is a gap. Let me show you from that side. Uh, so the wire will come out easily Here we go So this is off Now for the front that's as easy Just pull it out and then again from the hook the wire is off and there we have it Now let's check this can be reused See, there is no rust or any wires breaking, any wound of wires breaking, so that's good. Now, a lot of people would suggest putting in oil and everything. Trust me, it does not work in the long run. Uh, it just accumulates more dirt and grit and that makes the wire, uh, I mean, bad. So, do not use oil. You can use graphite. Yeah, again, pencil lead, break that up and do all of that, but WD-40 is the best bet rather than oil or any other anti-rusting agent let it go through and from the other side as well few more rounds of this and it will just penetrate all the way through the wire from the top so we'll let it rest for some time let's work on the rest of this stuff now a 13 mm bit or a 13 mm spanner would do the trick sorry that's 14 yeah there we go so that's 13 they have to do the trick but just using this for convenience yeah can be hand freed now now this should not have happened it should only have been the bowl that should have come off so the complete stud has come out We'll see if I can remove this, clean it, and this one is again badly rusted. We'll try and clean it as well. Uh, this one is looking a bit worn out, so maybe we'll consider replacement, but we'll see. Let's move to the other side. So same, 13 mm on this side. Three. And tire is already starting to feel a bit loose holding it from the top 
like this yeah this is the way these should have come out the stud should have stayed in see uh, that's okay let's see what's going on with the bottom one and there you go now we just have to take care of this loose enough yeah the wire is off speedometer and the front wheel would come out so only one stud is in the rest have just there you go front wheel out okay so front wheel off now these are 24 mm bolts one on this side and second one on this side if you can see and these are long ones so if you can see yeah so this is like badly damaged so for that let's see of course the 24 mm spanner will not work it's not the complete length so you would need a longer 24 mm socket this will fit in quite nicely here and here it is not that difficult anything would do even uh, this would do so yeah this wheel and then there is this spacer remember this is going to go in this way rusted but yeah this would be cleaned and now for the other side so this is where the longer socket comes in handy it's fitting in nicely just holding the tire have placed the mat underneath yeah coming up loose kind of was loose enough so that's done and if you can see the damage of hammering and everything so using the proper tools is important and yeah this bevel shape is gonna go in so remember that if camera can capture this this is gonna go that way so with the mallet this should free it up yeah that's kind of free let's see if it comes up yeah coming out and there we go so pads have enough of pad material left should be changed could be changed but i think they would last let's be fair uh, just the rust and all the corrosion just need to clear that just need to rub these out with the sandpaper and that should do so let's work on that yeah along with that this also has to be cleaned properly now ideally with the hand movement when we pull this lever this one this should move but it's not moving so that is why they were jammed up so these have to be removed even though these were uh, loosened before opening the wheel i think i forgot to record that but these have been loosened so yeah do that before loosening that sorry for that but yeah these are not moving so a uh, little bit more of wd-40 uh, removal cleaning and then it should start working let's continue so removing this is quite easy we just have to use proper clean hands but considering that these are already badly rusted i'm not bothering too much about that all we have to do is just lift them up from one side uh, need leverage so would we'll be using a screwdriver and this is gonna bounce badly trust me there we go so yeah the brake pads are off the spring again would be taken care of and this is the assembly so need to remove these so let's open these up and clean them let's remove them okay uh, these are 17 mm i think i forgot to mention that some prying might be required there we go there it is all done let's clean this off 
Okay, so here at the so-called washing bay, uh, these are the pans that I'll be using. This is a used of pet petrol that was used to clean up the tank, so the residue. There's a lot of metal, but that's okay. And everything else, all the screws, all the nuts, all the bolts, they're just gonna go in there, including the springs. Not the brake pads, they will be taken care of in a different way. So let's start cleaning them up. The basic toothbrushes got two, so everything will be cleaned. And yeah, this is a metal brush just to clean up all the screws and all those. Uh, I'll show you like this. Yeah, there are smaller sizes available as well, just uh, I don't have them. So, when working with petrol at least or these kind of chemicals, it is always advisable that you do wear gloves. So, let me put those on because it will irritate your skin and bad things can happen so let me get that on okay so gloves on one hand Start cleaning. you get the point let me clean them all up okay cleaning done let's move back to reassembly